Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I'm your host, Game Darius. Last we left off, I think we were roughly halfway up Ganon's Tower when uh, wrong directions were taken. And now we're heading up to what I think should be the next level. Should, being the operative word. Ow. Ah, that is a lot of that is a lot of pain. That's a lot of pain. Oop, yep, nope. That's fine. Come on. <sighs> Hit the button. Do I have to close these again? If not, I'll just jump back in here and toss a bomb down there. As annoying as that is, I'd rather... Oh, hell. Oh, this was that room. Okay, this was that room. You gotta, like, tap it. You know what? I'm going to go up the stairs and then come back down them again. Just so that I don't have to keep on... Restarting there. Just, um... Yeah. Yeah, this was that room I was talking about. Last episode. Or you gotta be, like... Right at the cusp. And that's a freaking, like, speedrunner type of trick. I mean... Gives me from some fairies. Guess I can't complain. I don't think I ever actually successfully did that as a kid. Like, I either always fell off or I got super impatient. I was like, nope, mm -mm. done with this. I, especially after coming off of uh, Link's Awakening, I had thought that there was that there might have been some sort of, like, secondary function of an item where you get the jump feature. Nope. This... This pain. Oh, goody. Um... Bombos. At this point, there's no shame in just bombosing everything. Especially... After some of the torment this game has put me through. What's that? A room full of armored knights? Mmm, bombos. Oh, look at that. More armored knights. And ice? Wow! Bombos. Look, I have very little sanity left. There's no longer no honor in this kind of fighting. Only bombos. I don't even know how I kept the momentum from the last room. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Nice try, bunny beam. Oh, hey. Boss of the, uh, second... Dungeon. Oh, that's right. I think there's going to be Maldorm for the... In this room, or not this room, but... The next area, is what I'm trying to say. Articulate. Kind of lost articulation some two or so hours ago during, uh... Where's the Medusitville? Ah... <sighs> Well, at least they give you this little room to heal, like, one whole heart. Woo. Ah. Ether. Alright. I'm sorry about Ether being so bright and kind of bullshitty. I kind of hate it too, trust me. Later. Okay. Oh, this is one of those rooms. I gotta kill all the whiz 
Wiz robes? Are these wiz robes? I know I faced some of them in the previous... In some of the previous dungeons, I forget. Oh, you son of a bitch. One down. There we go. I probably should have grabbed that heart, but meh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I have the magic for this. Or rather, I don't know if I have the magic to do this in one shot. Thanks, game. Alright. I can't reach all of them, and I can't exactly just push this one out of the way. I can't afford um, the thing of a bomb. You guys know what. So I think it's just gonna be a case of I gotta start from the top. What? Ah. I feel like I just barely did that. Okay, well, which way was it? This way. And this is stairs upwards. Oh, God damn it! How how many floors are there? Seven. Gone through all of them. Well, I missed like. Two rooms back on the first floor. Don't care. I suddenly care immensely. Okay, wait. Is this... Oh. I was about to say, is this gonna be constantly full of magic for me to use? But essentially what I need to do is just... I... Don't know how I'm supposed to do that room and not take damage. Or at the least how I'm supposed to do that room and not be pissed off from all the bullshit. <laughs> oh, come on. Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh come on. What the hell are the Helmosaurs supposed to be weak against anyways? Legitimately, I've never seemed to be able to actually kill them with what I thought was going to be their weakness, being the hammer. I love how it tells me all the time how to use the bombs. Like, yes, I've never used these before in my life. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to... Oh, there's a... Bombable wall. Try that again. Try getting... Uh... Yep. Tank that hit. Oh, this is... Fine kettle of fish of a room. Okay. Oh, dang it. I was kind of hoping I had a catch. Hatched it, caught it outside of the blue. But I can do that. Uh huh. Moldorm. Well, I have the Master Sword level 4 at this point, so. Moldorm, would you kindly get away? <sighs> this area has a different. Dude just freaking hugged me! Oh, frick you. That is... oh. Hey, let's have him fall, but then let's also have him fall right into the spikes. Dude! Piss off! Oh. 
Donors estimate Master Sword level freaking billion. All right. <laughs> like, no wonder the dude's really hounding me. Dude was trying not to die incessantly. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, Lord, I hate this room. Don't you... Want... Bad enough. Bad enough. I hate the hell. It wouldn't let me go through the. Whatever. I'm through. I'm through. I'm fine. Oh, this feels very finite. I'm gonna bring dishonor to this man. Ho ho ho! It's great that you could come here all the way. Come all the way here, Darius. Very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not meet, have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom! Yeah, it gets a little bit scummy. In that he can just kinda... triplicate itself. Oh, Got hit once. Oh well. Ah, dang it. This is a lot harder. Dang it. I was able to deflect them, though. Huh. It sounds like Zacked. There we go. If we're super lucky, I could actually get, um... Ooh. I actually managed to deflect that, too. If I'm super lucky, I could, in theory, hit him with multiple balls. Come on. I've actually, I've actually always wanted to do this, but man, this is tough. Ah, dang it, that hit a copy. Ah, dang it. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Nope, two. <laughs> two out of what, six hits? Ah. It's gotta be, like, right on. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I keep on jettisoning it, like... Ah, freaking... And I go for the... There we go. Okay, I think I found a relative secret. Relative secret. Ah, dang it. Gotta take my medicine. Or I continue to bring dishonor to this man. Yeah, the, the duplicates are starting to act out of sync. Because I hit him so many times. Yes! I have defeated you, Agon- Don't ask me how the duck is here. Now, were I a dumb individual who did not just drink an entire potion, I would jump down there this instant and take him on. Headstrong, cocksure. Geronimo! I've never imagined a boy like you would give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. Uh... 
strategy is currently hit him. When he throws his trident, avoid the trident. And hit him with your sword. It's a good sword. And when he does this, he's moving on to the next phase. I believe this is it. Yeah, I think this is moving on to... The oh god, he still does so much damage with that attack. Oh, it's a good thing I brought plenty... Oh, two fairies. Oh, come on. Yep. Potion time. And those are gonna go away now. Oh god, he does so much damage. I don't remember him doing this much damage. I know he's a final boss and everything. You can continue to do damage to him like this. But it's really rough too. Ooh, come on. Come on, Ganon. Face me. Stop teleporting like a coward. You are doing well, lad. But can you break through this secret technique of darkness? On guard! Oh, we have ways to get through the darkness. For one, uh, your lights. Oh, son of a taint. I'm only stupid enough to go into that fight without all the magic potions I need once, damn it. <sighs> I'm not stupid enough to go in there a second time without a uh, sufficient amount of magic potions. Well, health potions. We really don't need the magic potions that much. Yeah. You did like, instantaneously lose the fight. It's not game over, just you lose the fight. Son of a... Oh, right into the loving arms of the local guard. Lovely. This is all I need to do, too. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna freaking duck. Sounds weird out of context. Oh, what am I doing? I have a duck. Alright. Two healing potions. Um... Just in case. And can you heal me? And there's both. Here's a taste of the red. Thank you! They're doing it this time, though. We're gonna save Hyrule. Uh, I just kind of hate that I fell down that last time. Jesus. Oh yeah. The sword itself does so much damage, but it's nice to be able to just kill stuff. Now just to uh, find this goddamn tower again. In all reality, I probably could have um, gotten in those final hits a lot sooner, were it not because... Alright, try this again. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. Never imagine, alter ego, destroy you, do it without delay. Alright, throw a trident, some more, you jackass, please. I don't know whether or not, um... Oh, okay. I don't know how quickly he gets tossed into this if you just keep on hitting him. Sometimes I feel like it's t timed, and... Oh no, it's not timed. That was me doing sufficient damage when he was just kind of dicking around. Oh god. Oh, you cheap, cheap bastard. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna need to set up the fire rod. 
Yeah, the reason why it didn't... The reason why I wasn't able to hit him, or do the thing that I want to do, light up the torches, is because Jackass was right in the way. Then he teleports around randomly. Then only like this, can you stun him and hit him with a silver arrow. Ah, damn it. Ooh. That one was nearly my own damn fault. Yeah, these torches go out significantly faster than most other torches. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta stun him first with the Master Sword. How many hits is this? Four? Four! I've not done this in so many years. Welcome, Darius. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and the mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make a good wish come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it with a wish in your heart.
Or, you know, it sleeps again forever until Ocarina of Time. <laughs> and that was Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and my first full-on foray into the Legend of Zelda franchise as a kid. How does it hold up today? I still had a lot of fun. And much like with the previous ones, it was a hard-earned fun. <laughs> like, the, the final dungeons were always the ones that gave me the most trouble i think that's like that's just common sense the the most trouble comes from the last dungeons um and i don't necessarily think that it's just from the enemies or the bosses it's mostly from the design of these dungeons and whereas whereas in legend of zelda the first one um it was very much bullshitty simply because it's like oh hey here's six dark nuts you gotta kill them all before you can progress um, it's same, it's kind of that same way, but without as much of a bunch of bullshitty monster, if that makes any sense. Um, anti-fairies were a pain in the butt simply because sometimes you need magic in a dungeon. And there's no really good way to restore your magic besides, oh, you kill the monsters with magic, you get magic. And that's kind of one of those important things that I think... <laughs> I constantly forgot as a kid, and uh, right up until the end there, where I was like, oh hey, I'm, I'm out of magic, and I gotta use magic to kill this boss. Well, guess I'm shite out of luck. <sighs> Still, I'm really glad that I revisited this. It has been so long. So, so long since I have played Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And... Again, it is it is still one of my favorite uh, Super Nintendo games. Although, if I were to say which one was my fa favorite favorite Zelda game, it's still Link's Awakening. Ah, oh. and here we go through with a guide. Um, I'm glad I used the guide, even as cryptic as sometimes it is, because uh, the the guides on Zelda Dungeon don't feel complete. Like, they have two or three lines of guide, and then they have a couple of pictures. And then another two or three lines, and then some more pictures. <laughs> uh, it was just a little bit funky, I guess. Usually I'm used to these long word documents that are... Oh, hey, here's the exact set, but if you lose your place, you're screwed as balls. And... I don't know. I, I kind of like this guide, but at the same time, sometimes it just completely throws me off. Oh, hey. Castle of Hyrule. One game. Oh? Um, Castle Dungeon. Zero. Oh, they're talking about my deaths. <laughs> I had one game over. The Castle of Hyrule. Ba, 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 ba. I had two in Skullwoods. Two, uh... 
partially my own fault because I decided to go in that second time completely unprepared. And then none nowhere else. Yeah, I will say Skull Woods does feel like it needs to be a later dungeon. Because holy crap, that place is bullshit. I know that there are people that are good enough to go through a good chunk of the game without taking any damage and they could effectively like just play the entire game without any damage and sometimes I find that miraculous because sometimes the game will just throw damage at you like uh, the rail section in uh, Total Rock. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to avoid damage without using more magic. <sighs> all in all, had a good time. And even if I did binge this for eight hours, eight and a half, eight and a half now. This is definitely the uh, one of the longer in the franchise that I played so far. Uh, I think Link's Awakening is still pretty long, but that's mostly because I was playing that without the guide. So there's that. Anyways, uh, does this go back to the title screen at all? No. Uh, linger on the end. Okay, it's just gonna linger on the end. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah. I had fun. I uh, I know that these last three games I've been, you know, like, Oh, this is such bullshit. I'm losing my shandy here. But honestly, I did have fun. And difficulty regardless, it is a fun adventure. And some of the more interesting locales, I think, have been in this one. Maybe the second one as well. The second one was fun in its own way, and yes, even if I did play a hacked version of it. Um, that said, as much as I'm loving Legend of Zelda, I will not dive right into Link's Awakening. <laughs> I need a little bit of a sanity day check. I think that one is far longer than Link to the Past. Who knows, though? Uh, maybe somewhere down the line I'll eventually uh, tackle that and then the 3D Zelda games, which... I've never touched. Uh, I've played Ocarina of Time until I think Death Mountain. Got lost. Lost interest. And then all the games after that, never really played. Uh, Link Between Worlds is the only one that I've played and beaten. But yeah, I'm going to follow the series here. I don't know what I'm playing next. It's not going to be Link's Awakening. Maybe. <laughs> Can't promise anything. I might just dive into it. I don't know. Um, don't know what's coming next. That's about, that's about all I get. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching, for listening, for just enjoying this journey with me. If you guys like the series, like, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the shindig by now. Um, if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, they got Patreon and Streamlabs links down in the description below. I stream on Twitch. You can find the link of that hovering around the channel. Um, that's about it. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm going to take a nice long sleep. <laughs> Thank you everyone so very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next adventure. Take care. Cheers.